This is a video installation of the EcoTemp L L10 gas water heater, which I have plumbed to go directly into my camper. As you can see, I have a water alarm in here. I'm trying not to block too much of the light. It's difficult to see. But as you can see, we have the push connect fittings to the water heater. This is the uh, white valve is the uh, bypass for the actual water heater. And then I installed the ball valve with the orange handle on it to cut the water, cold water inlet off completely so that it uh, doesn't mess with the pressure. Um, everything seems to be tight, nothing's leaking. I do have one of these water alarms, they're about 12 bucks at Home Depot, just to make sure in case I spring a leak. So cold water is completely off, bypass is off or on, however you want to say it. The cold water inlet is off. And climb back out here. Uh, if for any reason we needed to move the camper or we were going to be traveling, uh, it's simply a matter of switching this off, turning the ball valve off, and uh, disconnecting it through the quick connect. And uh, then I can just take and push all this in and shut the door and turn on the water heater from the inside, gas or electric, I have both. Uh, and then I'm ready to go down the road again. And then when I get back home to my stationary place, I can simply use the quick connect and hook it up to my water hose hook up the, uh, the quick connect to my heater and my propane and she is good to go and I've already tested this out and it has I, I've got unlimited hot water as long as I have propane as long as I have propane I've got water so that's going to be nice to be able to take a shower and condition my hair and shave my legs and all those girly things without running out of hot water first. <laughs> so anybody looking to replace their water heater with one of these on demand, I can tell you it does work. It takes a couple of fittings. Uh, difference between pipe thread and hose thread is significant, <laughs> I've learned. Um, so that was my installation. It's taken me a few months because I was really nervous about cutting the PEX, the PEX lines inside the camper, um, simply because, you know, I, I'm not a plumber. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I am confident in the fact that I can take a, a nice long hot shower. Also, for those of you wondering about it, leaving the door open, yeah, we're going to have to leave the door open, but I made this little thing. Let's see. Try to get this in here. And then I just push it up in there like that. Piece of film insulation. I'll take some paper towels or a rag or something and stick it right there so that no critters or bugs or anything like that get in it. And that's it. And if I could figure out how to take this door off, I would take it off. If anybody has any suggestions on that, I took those screws out right there, but I can't seem to get that little plug out to get it to slide. So it should slide out of there, but I can't get the daggum thing done. So anyways, that is my external 
water heater that uh, I now have unlimited hot water. Yay!